I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Vice President Kamala Harris spoke at the National Education Association's annual meeting in Chicago on Tuesday. During her remarks, Harris touted unions, saying that right now is a historic moment for the labor movement. While campaigning, President Biden vowed to be the most pro-union president in American history. Listen in as the Vice President outlines the administration's plans regarding labor unions. So we passed the bipartisan infrastructure law and it will repair aging school infrastructure to save schools money. It will replace lead pipes in 400,000 schools and child care facilities across the country. So that our children can drink clean water. It will electrify our nation's school buses so children can have clean air to breathe. It will make high-speed internet accessible and affordable to every American household, and this will happen because of your support and your leadership. Thank you, NEA. And we still have more to do. And we have so much to do together. NEA, you are an extraordinarily effective as a group advocate for change, which is why we know that you have been able to see the success you have achieved. And it is no surprise why, because we know unions know how to organize. I say all over the country, you may not be a member of a union, but you better thank a union for the five-day work week and weekends, paid leave. And I often meet, and it's, it's, I know you do and, and many are here, I often meet with young organizers from around the country. And what's exciting is that we are seeing in a new, younger generation that they want the benefits and the protections that come from joining a union. They want it. They want it. Because they know what we all know. Unions give workers a voice. And so this is an historic moment, I think, for the labor movement. Today, unions have their highest approval rating since 1965. About half of all non-union workers say they would join a union if given the chance. That is almost 60 million people. Think about that. But we also know there are obstacles for them to meet that desire. And we know what it is. One is that many people still don't know how to join a union. And so that's part of the work we have ahead is to continue to remind them about how. But even if they do know how, we also know across our country Folks face barriers that have been built up over the years by corporate interests and anti-union politicians and regressive court cases. I fought many of those cases when I was Attorney General of California, so we know the obstacles are there. <laughs> California's in the house. <laughs> and so our administration, together with you, we're all doing a lot to tear down those barriers. And I'll tell you, I'm very proud to lead the White House Task Force on Worker Organizing and Empowerment, along with my good friend, our good friend, Secretary Marty Walsh. And from Massachusetts. 
And our President, Joe Biden, accepted all of our 70 proposals to make it easier for workers to organize. And here's the significance of that. It relates to federal workers, but the federal workforce is actually, the federal government is the largest employer in the country. And so when you think about it, as we adopt the recommendations to make it easier for federal workers to organize, you will point to all of that to say, if it can happen there, it can happen here. And there is more to do. So we are looking at the fact that the President and I are determined to lead not only the most pro-union administration in American history, but to move our country forward.